What's going on today, La Familia? <laughs> it's your brother, King K.O. Back in this thing with another one, man. And we got another crazy one, man. So make sure you hit that like, subscribe, ring that bell icon, and turn post notifications on to all. I cannot stress that enough. Do that for me, family. That way you will be notified every time we drop a video. They trying to slow us down right now. Bigger platforms keep giving us channel strikes, trying to stop our movement. But uh, we ain't doing no tripping. We just going to press our issue. More videos to pump out. And we're going to talk about every topic there is to talk about. You know what I'm saying? So go ahead and rock with the channel. Vibe and do what you got to do to be here. Family, show your brother that love. You know what I'm saying? Now for today's topic, man, we got that man, Bam Man Kivo. And if y'all don't know, Batman Kivo has already been in the news today due to a back and forth that he had posting these pictures. Man, uh, Black Boy JB came out and gave his reaction highly disrespectfully and says, bro, this man really got on the table and said, make me look like Arnold Schwarzenegger. And honestly, man, uh, that man did, his upper body did kind of look like Arnold Schwarzenegger. I can't even lie, bro. I mean, this was hilarious, bro. You you can't even get mad at this, Bam Man Kivo. He got you, bro. Then he put out, you know, this picture. This is fake drawing of him and, and started laughing and saying I'm dead. And came on and put a video out about it. Bro, I got a real serious question. Oh, God. <laughs> hey, is you really strong or you just look strong? Cause if I get on the table, if you ain't, if you can't pick up that there's 200 pounds and you look like you can pick up some 500 pounds, that's a serious problem. That's it. A sippity, my. <laughs> Some weak breads, brown ribbon on them. Oh my god! After putting out those videos, that man Block Boy JB lets it be known that Band Man Kevo wanted to, you know, get a scrap in. He wanted to go to Fisty Cups. He laughed at the situation, and you know, pretty much exposed the DMs between the two. Not really giving Kevo the aggressive attention that he was looking for when he initially DM Block Boy JB. He also put out that he had DM JB as well then puts out this video of him shadow boxing and whatnot you know letting it be known that he won a scrap session on anybody who got a problem with how he got to his physique that he's at now you know what i'm saying and i mean honestly man if you ask me kevo should have known that this would be the case you should have known that you would get backlash for putting all this out that you got liposuction then he puts out these pics and says you know he's still getting tatted lets it be known you know that white lives matter by getting a tattoo of White Lives Matter. In my personal opinion, another move to accumulate clout, you know, to get, you know, the internet circulating in his direction the same way that Kanye West came on and got that big surge going and got everybody rallied up and whatnot. But I mean, at this point, you can't really duplicate what somebody just did. It's a little bit too early. Not too many more people are going to pay this too much more attention, bro. Like. At this point, bro, we know, the world knows, that you are chasing clout by putting Kanye West on you and putting out White Lives Matter. You know what I'm saying? I mean, hey. <laughs> you know, I suppose the folks just woke up, right? Folks are snoring and everything. I'm like, me and folks, we sitting there still getting a tattoo. I look over this man like, man, it's cold as here, G. No, look, I, I, I leave my like 68. 69. I'm like, oh, you snoring like that? Gang. I said, folks need some iron pills. I got 10, folks. Go ahead and take 10. But I'm more than positive that y'all already know about that altercation that went on, you know, and that's not the point of this overall video. The point of this video is to point out what he also said in between there. Now, this can be interpreted as, you know, two two different ways, honestly, man. He said anybody who trying to help this creep is going to get affected by it. Trust me with the shush emoji at Adam 22. 
Now, if you go to Adam22's page, Adam22 did not talk about the Block Boy JB post, but Adam22 has had Block Boy JB as a reoccurring guest on his channel. So that's one way to interpret it. That, you know, he's saying, Adam22, if you are taken up for him, you're going to get affected too. You are a part of it as well. Then my smoke is with you as well. And maybe, you know, Adam22 might have DM uh, Bandman Kevo and said that, you know, y'all need to kill that. It ain't that serious. We don't know. Or it could be in another direction where he's letting it be known that, you know, Adam22, whoever is rocking with his platform and rocking with his movement, you're going to be affected by, you know, everything that he's putting out. Now, I'm going to say that it's the latter, the second one. Now, let's just say that Kevo was saying that La Familia for the sake of this video. I've been watching, you know, this man, Adam 22 and Vlad TV put out pics about their upcoming interview, you know, which is most likely already done. But, you know, it's going to be released in any day now. We don't know. Maybe so. Maybe a little snippet. Y'all know how Vlad likes to do. Put out the snippets first and then wait a while to put out the whole interview. So we should be seeing that come pretty soon. But uh, what I want to speak about, man, is uh, if he's saying that, you know, uh, Adam 22's platform is, you know, affecting people, most likely he's saying it from the point of Adam 22, Vlad TV and all the rest of the major bloggers who are at the top who are not a part of the culture, but they have this major influence inside of the culture so they can control the narrative. They can control popular opinion. They have the ability to make an artist hot if they want to or make an artist's career fall off if they want to. Not being initially a part of the culture. Say what you want to. It is what it is, man. At the end of the day, man, hip hop belongs to black folks, so we are called, or African Americans. Another term that we are called. But maybe I should say that this culture, hip hop, is supposed to belong to us. But instead, man, we so caught up in so many different other things that keep us so distracted that it opens the door for a back door where, you know, culture vultures can seep in and, you know, honestly take advantage. They take full advantage. They feast off of us. It's another route where, you know, they are controlling the narrative and we all got to, you know, bottom feed and catch the crumbs that fall from out of, you know, these men's mouth. How many times has Vlad TV said, I can quit YouTube right now and live off of my earnings for the rest of my life? So one would ask themselves, why do you still do it? Well, it's obviously because, you know, he controls the narrative. You're in bed with a lot of important people who want you to be in that position. They don't want the say cheeses of the world to rise to that position. They don't want the real life street stars, real life productions to rise into that position. The Dallas Globals, you know, uh, the King KOs. They don't want, you know, any of, you know, the real Phil TVs, the OTC Lives, the DJ Academics, Look Is J, Relatable Eyeball, Hassan Campbell. Man, hey, the list goes on and on, bro. They don't want them to be in that top position, man, to where, you know, they can control the narrative. They want us to be in a position where, you know, we don't have the ability to free our people's minds. Because at the end of the day, man, we are people that are bred to teach. We are people that no matter what, man, no matter how much drama is created around us, no matter how toxic the atmosphere is, we still try to find a way to teach and seep in the truth. They know that if we get in a position of influence, then we will start to wake people up. It's our conscience. Our conscience will start to kick in. We'll start to move towards the truth. Try to give people those goose eggs if, you know, we ain't coming all the way full fledged and out with it. How many celebrities have you seen come out and speak the truth? They'll come out and speak the truth and then they'll see their cash flow start to drop. Their views start to drop. They'll see everything going down and this is their livelihood. So now they have to make a decision. Do I want to live this same lifestyle or do I want to go back to the hood to give these people the truth? You know, they'll start to see their videos getting strike. They'll start to see stuff getting taken down, you know, and, and they'll choose to stick to silence. And that's the thing, man. You know, that's why you put one of your own in position, because they're not going to go away from 
what is you know the plan at hand they're gonna stick to the plan at hand what is the task okay i got it we're gonna stick to that we're gonna rock this one all the way through until the end and let me say this man you know i do got some respect somewhat for both of these men you know more so towards you know adam 22 because he employs a lot of so-called african americans and i got respect for the fact that vlad tv you know gives interviews and give attention to a lot of african americans but at the very end of the day what choice do you have when your your channel is centered around the culture you can't ch center your channel around the culture and go talk to you know uh billy cyrus you know what i'm saying all day long you can't go talk to miley cyrus you can't go talk to anyone else in another genre whenever you have a hip-hop blog don't get me wrong though when you get big enough you can go outside of your target audience and you know pull in different stuff that they don't even know they like you know what i'm saying so you can get those interviews at a certain point but you still have to lean on the overall point of the channel which is the hip-hop wave so you know they control the narrative and they're going to continue to bring these black folks in to continue to grow their audience to continue to generate revenue you know what i'm saying but my overall point is black folks don't even control the narrative for their culture on a platform where it's new media and we have the ability to talk how we want to and speak on the topics that we want to we can't even control the narrative on here because it's already consumed by the same people who have been controlling our culture since the beginning of this whole genre still the same thing man they already got in that position man where they letting us know this is what you're going to speak about for your videos to be able to have the ability to compete with any one of the videos that we put out you know what i'm saying you have to have shock value on it shock value is the only way you can grab the people at this point you know if your title isn't about something drama related nine times out of ten the people are not willing to click you know what I'm saying? Now, you can blame the bloggers as much as you want to. And, you know, me, I for one, I will take the responsibility for what I put out. You know what I'm saying? But I want y'all to understand from both sides and from what has been created. You feel me? I want y'all to get that this is not by choice. This is not something that's by chance. It is pre-planned. It was supposed to be this way. Put them in position so everyone else who follows has to follow suit that's just what it is man y'all could believe it or not man but you won't understand it till you actually get on here and you see for yourself what things work and what things don't what grabs attention and what don't you have to entertain the people by the way that they have already been programmed to be entertained and if you don't follow suit man most likely you're gonna become one of those bloggers man who never makes it to see even a thousand subscribers man People want what they want and that's just what it is y'all understand man these are the faces of your narrative these are the people who exploit the culture for personal benefit i mean hey i'm just confused how our culture on youtube is controlled by 40 year old white men how is that possible somebody please tell me and if i'm tripping tell me as well i'm your brother correct me if y'all see anything wrong but i just see this from you know a different standpoint maybe it might be black and white and you see it in color and i'm missing something here drop that down in the comment section and let me know y'all already know all praise be to the most high peace and blessings kings and queens and i'm out